Asmi. Well, hello, this is Jim Asmi. You're welcome to the channel. We're going to wire up an audio potentiometer, a logarithmic A potentiometer. This is 50K uh, AX2, so we have a stereo setup. So when you're wiring up an audio potentiometer, if you're listening to stereo audio, you of course need a potentiometer that actually has the ability to input two channels, left and right. So these are parallel and we checked it for balance uh, in an earlier little video there. You can check it out if you don't know how to. Uh, but in any case, uh, it's ready to set up and we're going to go through the process. The weird thing here is that an audio potentiometer, uh, it's a logarithmic, right? So, of course, the center one and one of the sides uh, will basically give you the resistance, the variable resistance. Uh, but if you connect up the wrong side, then all the audio will come in a tiny little wig of the pot and the rest of the audio will be like very not smooth. So it will be like very little change the rest how you wind it up. So if you connect that wrong, it's a problem. So that's the issue here. Uh, if you connect up it right, it will be a smooth experience. The reason we need a logarithmic potentiometer when dealing with audio is that decibels is a logarithmic scale. Uh, so it appears to be smooth to the human ear uh, while the scale is actually uh, logarithmic. So while this appears smooth to you, it's actually not smooth and that's because decibels is logarithmic as said. How do we connect this thing up? Well, thing is, most potentiometers, uh, audio ones are made in the same way, I believe. And that means, I guess if mine is right, is that the input goes in the middle uh, and the output goes to the side here, the left side to be specific. But of course you can just connect it up like that, uh, like technically you could connect it up another way too, depends a little bit how, how we want to wire. But the thing is, you will need to listen for the audio to be smooth. So that's why we have our friends, the headphones here with us, that's it. And we're going to basically check for where the audio is smooth and not. A wild audio input has appeared. So um, the tip is left. The middle connection is right channel. And this one is ground. So you can connect it up uh, just like that. I'm going to simplify my life and connect the audio input to a little 3.5 connector. So uh, yes, do how you want. And of course the headphones will be connected up to the audio output. So uh, in this case, this is the ground, this is the right connection and this is the left, but check with yours uh, how it works. You can see it inside of there. Uh, we're just connected up to the cable. So now we're going to uh, connect it up a little bit here. Now the volume is controlled via left and right channels, so those are the ones that needs to be limited. The ground, uh, you, can't co you, you can't wire up ground to uh, adjust volume, it just doesn't work, if you wonder that. So we're basically going to connect up ground to ground. So the audio input with live music here goes to the audio output. The ground cable is just going through there. Then we're going to connect up the left and right channels via the pot. So yellow is the right and left is the green today. This is obviously not a soldering tutorial, but not every wiring tutorial has to be a lot of soldering. So we're going to connect the input, the right channel there on the back one and the left channel there on the front one. Make sure that the connectors don't uh, actually uh, attach to each other, that they don't conduct. Then we are going to connect up some more here. So we're gonna continue with the green left channel there. And on the other side, we got some more right yellow channel here. That end is down there, so we will connect up the 
left channel on this one and the right channel on this one. Now you just put on your headphones, start the music and screw away. Does the audio sound smooth? No, it doesn't. It sounds very unsmooth. Well, that is because we need to move. Then to the other side. All right. So now when we start the music, we can screw between the volume and you can now hear that the volume appears smooth instead. Very nice. So that's the thing with decibels. It's a logarithmic scale and it has to be moving smoothly um, and to be moving smoothly in order for us to hear it smoothly, it's logarithmic and it needs to be connected up the right way. So if you do this test like this, you can make sure that your potentiometer for your audio pre project is connected up in a way that sounds nice. Isn't that neat? In any case, hope this video helped you. And if it did, do leave a like. This is your host, Jim Odesen, signing out, out of a lot of jambled wires. In any case, bye bye.